there! I'm Kate Nolan. I'm sure most of you know that because if you're seeing this you're probably coming from my YouTube channel and most people on that know who I am already. But on the off chance that you're not coming from my YouTube and you're just clicking from my Facebook author page or anything along those lines about my book, um, I'm basically going to talk about my book in this video and I have a lot to say about it. I could make many videos <laughs> and talk about it, but um, for the first one I am going to focus on a couple basic questions like what is the book, what's it about, um, how long is it, how have I been writing it, and basically the characters. Now um, I could definitely do a video for each of the characters 10 minutes long or more because um, I could talk a lot about the characters but because they're basically the most important part of the book by far and I'm gonna try to talk slower than I am talking <laughs> but um, I'm gonna basically try to do a really spoiler free version of these videos because obviously most people haven't read it because I only have a few beta readers right now and those people are the ones who've read it and everyone else is pretty much in the dark so I'm going to try to not give away too much about the book and use these as sort of an informational video for people who might be curious about it um, or just interested so anyway um, here it is <laughs> and it's pretty long. It's actually right now. Uh, what is it? Twenty thousand or twenty-eight thousand eight hundred and eighty-six words. And uh, I'm on the second volume. I'm almost done with the second volume. Um, the first volume I think needs some work. Mainly, um, I feel one of my flaws as an author is that I'm not very descriptive with things and like especially the environment and often like the physical descriptions of characters and things like that. Um, so I'm trying to work on that. I think I've improved in volume two but everyone will have to be the judge of that but hopefully once I'm done I can go back to volume one and add things. Um, anyway I'm sort of rambling a lot. Try to keep track of how time. Okay. So, okay, the title of the book is The Confounding Variable. Now, the main question I always get from people about this so far is, Kate, what in the hell is that about? Because <laughs> no one has any idea what it's about just from the title, which is sort of the way I wanted it to be. Because um, actually, if I had to pick a genre for the book, I would probably put mystery as the number one. Not like in a traditional mystery, like um, there's a detective and they're trying to solve a mystery of like a murderer or something, but more in the sense of you're reading it and you don't really have too much of an idea what's going on. And that's the way I want it to be. I basically um, think along the lines of like movies like Eternal Sunshine and the Spotless Mind, where you pretty much, you're watching through the movie for the first time and you really have no idea what's going on. <laughs> Until you see it the second time, then it's like, oh, that makes sense. Um, and that's that's the way I want this book to be, pretty much. Um, I'm pretty much keeping the reader in the dark for most of the story, about most of the big plot details, and um, the main focus, as I said already, is the characters, and uh, like what they're going through, and their like daily lives, and what um, what is eventually going to become the main plot threads. Um, so I said, alright, what is the book about? Well, I gave you an idea that it's sort of, you don't really know what the book is about, but um, I said on my Facebook page that it's about psychology, math, and sex. Of course, it's about a lot of things besides that. Um, the math thing, I think, is probably the least prominent. Um, and that's sort of for obvious reasons because, I'll be honest, I know nothing about math. <laughs> math has always interested me, I've always been interested in math, but um, I personally am terrible at it and I was never really able to study it that much. So I don't know enough about math to make myself sound at all intelligent. 
talking about math. So, <laughs> uh, for the most part, that's just sort of an afterthought. Um, uh, math is a huge part of one of the characters, Lucas's life, because that's one of his, not only is it what he's majoring in in college, but it's also one of the things he's passionate about. And um, it also has a lot to do with what he's doing as his job in the story currently. But other than that, math is not really a big part. Psychology, on the other hand, um, I majored in that. I have a bachelor's degree in psychology, and I know quite a bit about it. With that said, it intri intrigues me so much, and I love psychology, and I love, I love studying it, and I love writing about it, and I love talking about it. Um, so that's definitely a huge part of the book. And, um, gotcha, what time it is? Oh, I got a couple more minutes. Anyway, that's a huge part of the book. Um, I'm probably gonna have to split this. The characters thing is probably gonna be another video, but, um, uh, about psychology, basically, let's just say I'm not gonna give too much away. Oh. My dad's calling me! He's a little overbearing sometimes, but anyway. Um, yeah. So, <laughs> I'll give you a hint that the general underlying plot thread is largely about psychology. And, um, I sort of give a hint towards that. A lot of, well, I give a lot of hints for pretty much everything in the book. And one of the things I want to say about the book is that nothing is coincidental. Everything that I'm writing in it that's going to make no sense to you when you're reading it will eventually make sense because I know how it's going to end and I know where I'm going with it. I just have to get from point A to point B. Um, so I'm throwing in little clues and hints as to try to get you to figure out what's going on. But, um, one of the things I mentioned is that, uh, Lucas's math is going towards these psychological, um, tests that the company is asking him to calculate. And, um, that sort of gives you a hint as to how psychology is going to come into play, other than just the whole really in-depth psychology that I go into about the characters individually themselves. And, um... And as far as the sex thing, well, I think that's probably going to be pretty obvious to you as you're reading it. What can I say? I'm a fan of sex. And I think a lot of people are, and I think a lot of people enjoy reading about it. So, it's another part of the characters' lives, and it's another part of their psychology. So, um, there you go. There's a lot of sex in the book. And there's some violence, too, but, um, the violence is sort of not really as prominent as this ex, but... <laughs> so anyway, that's pretty much all I'm going to say in this video because I'm running out of time. I hope I didn't go completely off into random tangents and that I interested you in my book and that you will read it. Um, basically, just contact me if you want to read it. Um, right now, I'm probably going to wait until I finish at least volume one and two before I let just the general public read it if they ask me to, um, but that's pretty much all I have to say for now. Thank you for listening and have a nice day.